Hello, I'm the Catfield alongside me is Joe Edwards. We're here at Wolves' training ground. We're in Compton. Uh, just spoke to Nuno. Uh, I tell you what, a lot of Wolves fans will be after revenge against Watford this weekend. But I tell you what, Nuno's having none of that. None of that at all. And um, he says you can become blinded uh, by revenge if you try and let you know get your emotions, you know, too amped up. You don't need to let let it get the better of you, really. Mm -hmm. That's what he was saying. And. Um, yeah, he's treating it as a as a fresh challenge, a new challenge, like any other game. And of course, you know, a lot of a lot of fans are heading down to Vicarage Road tomorrow. Probably a few of them donning Mexican wrestling masks yeah. in, in support of Raúl Jiménez. But they're desperate to get one over the Hornets, of course. You know, the FA Cup semi-final being the obvious one mm -hmm. in the manner of it. And then, of course, the reverse fixture back in the league in, yeah. in October, uh, two 0 to Watford that day. So. Wolves own one really, mm. and um, you know this is a big game, massive game in the in this race for seven. I mean, really, you're looking at it, the winner of this game. It, the spot looks like it's theirs, to be yeah. honest. So it's a huge game with huge implications. There is a, a lot of emotion attached to it, but Nuno is keen to eliminate that really and just treat it like any other part. Yeah, and as you said, Watford have bested Wolves twice now. I mean. Nuno has said that he's not going to look back at them games, but in the back of everyone's mind will be how do Wolves get the better of Watford? Because as you said, they've they've had their number twice now. Will Nuno look at them previous games, do you reckon, and say this is where we could improve, this is what we should do? Or is it just going to be one of them where, as he says, he takes it game by game? He does truly take it game by game. And we've we've asked asked him, you know, through various points during the season about, you know, different different things. Do you look at previous games? I think I've mentioned him uh, the Southampton game or something like that a few weeks ago about replicating the performance at home and he said mm -hmm. now you know a lot of time has passed since then yeah. so he, he won't be using the October game as a reference point I know the FA Cup semi-final was only a, a matter of weeks ago but I don't think he'll be using that as a reference point so either he always makes a point of that you know teams change game by game growth involvement and stuff like that so he won't be looking at that mm -hmm. he'll be looking at their last results their last game but he, he won't be looking beyond that, I don't think. And um, he, I mean, he, he's seen them, hasn't he? He's seen them twice already. He knows what they're all about. He, and you know, their their threats are obvious. Mm -hmm. uh, Gerard Delafeo being the main one, of course, a star turning in that semi final. But um, they've got a few big players missing as well. And the the big thing for Wolves is that they're going into it with a clean bill of health. Yeah, I mean, I'd say everyone available. I mean, Troy Deeney's one man who's not available for Watford. I think a lot of Wolves fans would have almost liked to have seen him on the pitch so they can give him, give him a piece of their mind. Um, but no, he'll be a big miss for them. Um, but Watford have plenty of talent themselves. They can't be taken easy, can they? No, and and I mean, it's it's you look at that Watford team and um, I spoke to Steve, Steve Ball earlier for the for the column, mm -hmm. and he said that you know Wolves. Have, have got better players all over the park yeah. and I'd probably agree with him to be honest um, especially on paper I mean mm -hmm. you, you more look better stocked when you match the two teams up uh, pretty much in all areas yeah. but Watford these players uh, you know some of them your Craig Cathcart your Adrian Mariappas um, you know Will Hughes Andre Gray players like that that you don't really assess as like top top rate players. They've all done the business this season for them and they've mm. all been consistent. Cathcart especially, you know, a player that you know was playing for Blackpool a few years back. He's not a household name by any means, but he's mm. been a rocking defence for them. And um, yeah, it's it's that Watford team. They've, they've they've got a good they're quite similar to Wolves, I've made the point of this yeah. before, that they've got a British core in players like Cathcart, Mariapa and, and Hughes, or, although Mariapa I think does qualify for Jamaica mm. but th these are players that have been playing in England for many years now and then they've got that foreign talent which they've kind of added to it mm. players like Roberto Pereira Yudela Fayouz Isaac Success pe people like that as where Wolves have done a similar approach I think they're very well matched mm. I think it's going to be a very very close game again because you know they're well stocked in all areas and they've all got kind of similar threats so mm. I, I expect it to be quite a tense um, well matched game tomorrow yeah, it should be really an exciting one. And Wolves, of course, flying now after beating Arsenal. What a yeah. result that was. Um, it's one of them, though, where they've done so well against the top six. They've struggled a little bit against the, those teams in the lower reaches. It's these teams in the middle where, especially teams around them, where you do want to pick up the three points because it, it works in both ways. You're gaining points and you're also taking them away from your competitors. Exactly, exactly. And, and it's, you know, it's, it's obviously you want to you get it 
for, the, for that revenge mission all that you know doesn't um, for tomorrow but you want to get it for that cycle that psychological edge going forward into the final two games so you I mean you're looking at the last two games for Wolves Fulham of town should be a win yeah um, but you've alluded to it there that record against the top six makes it a bit more shaky than it perhaps should be mm -hmm. Liverpool on the final day I mean could be a real struggle to be honest yeah um, especially if they're going into it needing a win to possibly seal the title um, so this is a massive game and this is a real chance to say that claim for seventh um, and yeah we'll see how it goes but I think Wolves as we say going into it in really good shape a fantastic 45 minutes or well half an hour really against Arsenal the first 15 was a bit backs against the wall but a half an hour that really just blew Arsenal away mm. if they can come up with a similar spell against Watford they'll come out on top yeah, and obviously Nuno, as you said before, has got a full complement of players to choose from. Do you reckon he makes any changes, or is it is it one of them where you can't really change anyone? I don't think he. I don't think he does make any changes. To be honest, um, Leander Dendonka came back into the team on Wednesday night, of course, and you know you're looking at that team that played against uh, Arsenal. That is Wolves' strongest team. Mm. Um, one, one to eleven. I think that is the best formula. Brian Bennett came back into the back three over the past couple of weeks, and. You know, it's nothing against Romain Sace. I mean, he did a decent enough job there. I had a wobble at Southampton and then got taken out. But just Bonnie, you know, Benny, Cody and Bolly, sorry. Yeah. They, they comment each other really well. And um, they kind of make up for the flaws, but accentuate the, you know, the strengths as well of all three. So, yeah, this is Wolves' strongest team. There's no injury will be so I'd imagine they'll stick with the same 11 they played against Arsenal. Come on, Joe, are they getting a result? Give me a prediction. I can see this being really close and I can see potentially being uh, a draw, to be honest, mm. uh, a score draw. Uh, I think players have got, you know, they've got both got players going forward that can hurt can hurt you and they're both going to go for it, but I think neither of them really want to suffer that defeat all too much as well. Wolves, of course, would lo would love to win and stay that claim for seven, but Watford are a very good team and um, I think they are very evenly matched. So. Yeah, score draw one one. Score draw should be a good game for all the pre-match build-up. Make sure you stay with us at expressandstar.com.